What is it? 1,000. 1,000. It's so hot. It's so hot. Eight-year-old Naomi Parker has had to practice like this all her life. She has balance problems because she's deaf in one ear and partially deaf in the other. It's because her mum, Stevie, caught a virus called CMV when she was pregnant. You've probably had CMV without noticing. Most of us have, and it's mostly harmless. But it can be dangerous for unborn babies. Hang on. Hi, Naomi, how are you? Yeah, hi. Now, tell me, what's the name of this virus again? Cyto. Cyto. Meg. Meg. La. Cytomegla. Virus. Virus. Cytomegalovirus. Yes. It's not a dinosaur, it's definitely a virus. It's definitely a virus. Okay, thank you very much. However you pronounce it, CMV damages two to three children every day in Britain. It's more common than Down syndrome. It can affect brain development, hand-eye coordination, it's been linked to autism and cerebral palsy. But the biggest impact is on hearing. In fact, CMV is responsible for a quarter of all hearing loss during childhood. My left ear is fully deaf. My right ear is a little deaf. So, yeah. Sometimes um, people want to be like me because they like my hearing aids. And I'm like, trust me, you don't. You don't want to be like me. That's it. If I have balancing problems, that means so much other th mm. so many other things that I can't do. Like I can't do it like it's, I just can't do normal things that other people do. And is that frustrating? Yes. Ready? See if you can let go. You're being, you're fantastic. That's yeah. great. It causes a, a lot of disability in this country, and it affects children in lots of different ways. And for people uh, like me that work with children with hearing loss, um, it's something that we're quite fearful of. After spending years propping up children with problems, paediatrician Tamsin Holland Brown decided to do something about the virus. Together with a hundred other NHS specialists across the east of England, unpaid and in their own time, she's helped develop Britain's first targeted screening programme to find CMV in newborn babies. The problem was that we were catching the virus too late and a lot of the damage was already done at that point. It was almost like Mission Impossible. Everyone was crushingly busy and we had no time and no money and no equipment, no way to process samples, no way to register it on the computer system. We hadn't written the patient leaflets. We needed to write some guidelines and it was such a big task that it needed so many people to come together. Just on the inside of his cheek. Sometimes they have a little chew. There we go. And here's how it works. This young man seems to enjoy munching the stick, but it's actually a specially designed test for the virus. Any newborn in the East who fails two hearing tests will be checked this way. From the mouth to the lab, because time is of the essence. The most recent research suggests that if you treat CMV with antiviral drugs within a month of birth, you could potentially stop the hearing loss in its tracks or even reverse it, although treatment doesn't work for all children. Virus expert Dr Tim reggett has been studying CMV for decades. Cytomegalovirus is a, is a virus which continues to grow after the baby's born. Not all viruses do, but cytomegalovirus does. And that means a baby who's infected and who may have hearing loss is going to continue to have that virus growing in their system. And the quicker you get antivirals in, the quicker you can stop the virus growing and make sure that it can't cause any more damage. Just a little cold. <laughs> I know, it's a bit chilly. I don't think Martha really wants her hearing tested. She's just been born at Adambrooks in Cambridge. It's one of the hospitals across the East signed up to the new programme. Well, Chloe, thank you very much, and Martha, for talking to us, having just given birth. <laughs> okay. Martha's been given a clean bill of health today. Mum Chloe is a health professional, but she wasn't aware of the risks. 
Now you're a doctor. Yeah. What did you know about CMV when you were pregnant? I mean, I'd heard of CMV. I know it's a virus. Um, I must admit, thinking about it antenatally, I'm not sure I gave it much thought at all, to be honest. There are other viruses that are talked about um, when you go for your appointments and other things that you're made aware of to do or not to do, but I don't really recall much being, or anything being said about CMV. Now this is all about CMV. Yep. What did you know about CMV before you have sort of joined this team, this project? Can I be honest? <laughs> Go on. I know, knew nothing. Vicky Banks leads the team of hearing screeners who've happily taken on the extra training and work. It's great being involved in something like this, I'm really enjoying it. Um, all the professionals have all got together and we all help each other out and we all work together um, and it's appearing to be really successful. Most pregnant women know to avoid changing the cat litter and eating soft cheese. CMV causes more birth defects than both of those put together. But there are things you can do to avoid catching it. If you're pregnant and have other children, don't share their food or cutlery. Wash your hands after changing a nappy. And don't kiss your toddler's lips or runny nose. Not that Martha's got a runny nose. Do you think the people leading your antenatal care should, should have a duty to maybe talk to you about some of these things? I know there's a lot of things they do have to talk to you about, and it can be a lot to get through in one appointment, but just having some a mention of, of these things could be the, the difference that, that it makes, really. Most babies born with CMV show no signs at birth and won't be affected by the virus. But it's estimated that around 15% of those could go on to develop health problems a few years later. Aye. This programme is only targeting children born with hearing problems. If early treatment proves successful, it could potentially pave the way for wider CMV screening in future. I wish I knew about CMV, I wish I'd known the words, well, the letters CMV. I would have been a little bit more um, vigilant with probably washing my hands a little bit, not sharing cutlery with my son, and I would have pushed for um, a blood test to understand have I had CMV or because I work with children and I want to know if I'm at risk and putting my child at risk. I mean, do you think enough is being done to tell mums now about CMV? No, midwives and health visitors still don't know about it. They, 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 they don't know that the, the virus exists. They don't know what it was. When, when Naomi was born with a rash over her body, they didn't know what that was. And it's a classic sign. It's a classic sign of CMV, but nobody knew what it was. Um, and if there's more awareness, mum's more aware, then that will help. When my mum's saying like, you need to do your bedroom and I'm listening to telly on my right ear, I can't hear. I can't hear my mum. All I can hear is yeah, it's, the telly. It's funny that. So you can't <laughs> hear your mum telling you to tidy your room? No. It's funny that. <laughs> <laughs> but she's done great today. You can see yeah. you know, how well she's doing. So how do you feel as a mum seeing that? Immensely proud of her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>